Hi Sanj, let's see what messages show up for you this week. Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's dive into your reading and see what messages show up for you. Sagittarius. Reverse the rules. If needed, switch the pieces. Try not to force a reading on your situation, right? Sagittarius. Wow, Empress. Look at that. Can be a Libra or a Taurus you're dealing with. Overall, it's a very positive energy. Nourishment. And progress. Look at the major arcanas, Sagittarius. Look at that. For a lot of you, I see this week is amazing. The overall energy is just amazing. I see you moving forward in the direction of growth, right? Finances look good. The forward movement look good. And uh, I see all the opportunities that are in your surroundings are looking very appealing. You exactly know in what direction you have to go. For a lot of you, I'm picking up a confidence. Wow, confidence of moving forward in you. Very positive energy overall. Sagittarius, I feel this week you're going to get a lot of attention. <clears throat> a lot of attention from the people in your surroundings. I see you getting that uh, motivation also. You're getting that uh, support also. And you're getting the opportunity also. Wow. So we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse position here. For a lot of you, I'm picking up that in, in the recent past, there has been an opportunity that was barely moving or you didn't get the opportunity. You didn't get the opportunity. And as you were recovering from that, as you realized that, okay, this did not show up, can be a money opportunity, can be a long-term partnership you were expecting, but it didn't come or it didn't move forward. Or for a lot of you, it's, it was so slow that it barely appeared moving. There is a new idea. There is a new idea that's showing up in your mind, right? But you are somehow skeptical. Look at this line and look at these lines. Right now, Sag, I feel you're a little skeptical about grabbing that passionate offer, offer opportunity that, that is being offered to you. Whatever is being promised to you here with the Ace of Wands, it is naive, it is in the beginning stage and it is full of passion, but you're doubting whether it is long-term promise or not right strength is there whether it is a long-term promise or not strength okay what else we have the judgment the nine of pentacles and the five of swords so in the beginning sad i feel that you guys are a little skeptical you're resisting and holding back you are attracted to it i won't say that you're not attracted to it but somehow you're controlling your urge to explore this inspiration in the beginning. It's going to come back. Something that you were confused about, it's going to come back to you, right? It's coming back. But this time when it comes back, for a lot of you, the offer we're talking about here that did not show up in the past, possibly is coming back. But now things have changed because you have found something new. You have found some new excitement. You have found some new attraction or simply some new passion. And what happens is that when you get attention from multiple directions, you become strong in a way that you have possibilities and, pos and choices. You become strong that now you can choose, you can level up, you know. Uh, so you don't actually have to wait or be stuck on one opportunity. That's why that worth well, you know, when you get attention from all the directions, you get to realize your word that actually there are a lot of people who are interested or there are a lot of opportunities, a lot of fishes out there. That, uh, that attention, that feeling that you're worth it is giving you a sense of confidence in the situation. So for a lot of you, I'm picking up that the opportunity that was not moving forward is actually coming back. But now you have something new also. So you are more confident, you're more independent. And for a lot of you, I see now you can decide, right? People might feel that, okay, you're acting smart, even selfish. People can think that, right? But overall, the situation is appearing quite positive to me. 
Overall, the situation is appearing quite positive to me. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Swords. This is a very interesting energy, Sash. Very interesting energy. Moon. Look at that. Look at the major arcanas here showing up. I see a lot of distrust when it comes to this opportunity reviving. You're not trusting it. You're not giving it a try at that first. But then there's some entrapment here emotionally. You're going to clarify what's that. And Tower is showing me that your intuition is t telling you that the foundation is not up to the mark. Some foundation here is not up to the mark. For a lot of you, you wanted a pinnacle, you wanted an offer, very solid, but what actually was being shown to you was passion. If, for example, you wanted a stable relationship, a stable commitment, but what was being offered to you was just, you know, a fling, and you were not interested there. Now when it's coming back, you're like, okay, I have better opportunities and I'm more confident. I'm not ready to accept it. And you might dodge it. You might dodge it for a moment. It actually doesn't matter because the moon is showing me that there is some illusionment, that some sort of uh, distraction. And then if the foundation is not strong, you know what's going to happen, isn't it? Why? Son of cups. Okay. So things are going to turn around and you're going to be left mesmerized here. Two of Pentacles, the uh, problem, the struggle is real of management. Management issue is there, Sagittarius. Let's get some clarified, uh, let's get some cards clarified, I'm sorry. Whatever is going to be revealed here, whatever truth, whatever clarity is going to be revealed here, you'll be shocked. And I see you'll be mesmerized. You'll be shocked and you'll be mesmerized. The Tower and the Seven of Cups. The Tower and the Seven of Cups. Right? The Tower and the Seven of Cups. Alright, let's see. What is this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse position? Four of Wands, Empress is there again, and Nine of Pentacles. For a lot of you, um, Saturn, again, if something didn't show up at that time, if an offer was not made or if a commitment was not made, it was actually a blessing in disguise because I see you guys found something new that made you realize your worth. In Nine of Pentacles, I see that sense of confidence. I see that sense of confidence in you, and you might feel that, okay, <laughs> You might feel that pinch that, okay, I did not get that or I did not get that opportunity when I wanted. But universe is giving you an answer here that what you actually were asking for and what you're actually getting is much better than that, right? So it's very different. What is this Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords? Yeah, I'm getting some information here, some very... Um, quick information is coming your way, some rash information is coming your way. What is this information? Now somebody is putting forward a conflict. For a lot of you, I see this new inspiration is coming in with a lot of conflict. This can be a love offer also, right? Or a fling, but it, it is going to be accompanied with a lot of conflict and that's the reason why you want to hold back. What's this conflict here? Six of Cups. So the moment you think of entertaining the new energy the past is going to surface and resurface i'm sorry that be prepared with the moment you oh boy the moment you decide to entertain this energy the past is going to resurface the judgment the judgment what is this i told you you're going to be very happy when you hear that trust me it is going to cause a lot of conflict too but you're going to be very happy when you hear that you know, wow, sun, what else, what else, two of swords, confusion, partnership, and nine of cups, hmm. the struggle is real here, the moment this offer comes back to you, Sag, your mind will be totally fucked up, 
mind will be totally fucked up because there's a sense of happiness, nine of cups and sun that okay, I didn't get it in the past but you know sometimes when you fail to achieve something in past or you are denied of something in past and then it comes back actually when you are in a stronger position that feeling is just amazing for example you you want something like you want to have a chapati but it was not offered to you at that time and now you have a pizza in your hand or now you have something very delicious in your hand and now uh, that the person who was offering you chapati at the time who failed to deliver it you know it's a loss for them because now you have something better so you are going to enjoy when that chapati is going to be offered to you in future and you're like okay dude i have pizza now <laughs> you're getting my point but something on that front, front i'm picking up but now there will be a confusion in the near future along with the satisfaction and happiness some confusion is going to creep in what do you actually want whether you want to be emotionally and financially independent there or you want to settle in this partnership ten of pentacles there's going to be confusion coming in very soon for a lot of you i see you acting tricky here five of swords so five of pentacles if you dodge something for a lot of you i'm picking up sad you need to be careful of the mind games now things are going to come back and being offered to you the way you wanted but there is there is a loophole there be careful there is a loophole there there is a glitch and that's going to be and I, i'm talking about some sort of mind games which are involved here and that's going to be resurfaced very soon that is going to hurt you on picking up when you get to know what is actually the loophole in this whole situation it might hurt you for a moment you might feel that, okay somebody didn't support me or what i expected they didn't do it that way for a lot of you i see that somebody is going to act in a way that they want you to chase them and if you don't do them if you don't do that five of pentacles I see the disappointment is there that you're carrying forward for a moment and this is going to hurt you yeah hermit with the moon now things turn around and th there are crazy shifts here back to back right <laughs> unexpected turns back to back and picking up you're going to be upset for a moment and you might feel that you okay, have lost something sanj but actually you're not losing it tower my god look at the lovers at the bottom of the deck tower and very unexpectedly something shows up and you're even more confused i'm going to clarify what's that i know it's a very confusing energy right now knight of wands and then something shows up full of passion and you're deciding to move on six of swords because of that and three of wands you're getting a clarity about something the tower is revealing itself tower is falling and the sun of wands that's that's the page of, i'm sorry the knight of wands energy you're realizing that something has been in and out something is something is like that you can't trust so you're deciding that instead of focusing on short term passions it's time to move forward and look for longer term look for better plans make long term planning three of wands is my long term planning card also three of cards three of wands is my turning away card also and uh, three of wands is giving yourself that sufficient time to think and wait and turn away and analyze that card also so yeah see i see you're trying to move on from something and you're giving yourself sufficient time to think what's the seven of cups six of six of wands okay six of wands and magician and eventually nine of wands become a god it though wow So you're going to be mesmerized when some clarity surrounding a fire sign possibly is getting revealed, or some some energy that's wishy washy and not staying in your life for time being, right? So this seven of cups is showing me that you're going to be confused and you might end up avoiding something, but. You need to take the charge of the situation, Jack. You need to become the magician. Magician is showing me that you need to put your guard. Usually, what we say is nine of wands, you're guarded. But no, this is showing me that you need to be guarded here. You need to guard yourself against 
something that's very confusing and something that has been a pattern in the situation, something that has been repeating in this situation. You need to guard yourself against it. Be the magician and, and protect. Have a protective role here. Because for a lot of you, I'm picking up that this week, a lot of shifts are taking place back to back. Unexpected changes. Something is denied to you, then something new starts. And when you're focusing there, some very unexpected past energy shows up. You're going to resist it. You're going to be confused. But then some judgment call is made and you're again back on that track. Right? You're, you're wanting to be independent here. But when this offer comes in, you might get confused. You're happy. So what do you have to decide? And when you're unable to decide and when you, you know, when you be a little tricky here, people are going to take it as, you know, I, I usually see this as revenge energy. So somebody might act very clever and there's some revenge here involved that's causing abandonment. That's making you feel that, okay, what did I do to you? Why are you acting this way? You might feel a little bad for some time, but then again, a tough moment takes place in this situation. So this whole situation is crazy. It's crazy twist and turns. I would say crazy twist and turns in this situation. All you need to be careful is that you stay, you be a magician and you guard yourself. You stay protected. Do not trust somebody blinding or blindly or something blindly like that. See, six of wands, victory. And that's what we have here. Wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotions, awards, and scholarships. So there are wise choices that are going to make that you're going to make this week. All you need to do is just guard yourself. Six of Wands is my ignorance card also. So try to ignore some things because you're on the path of victory. And then Eight of Cups. The need to move on, seeking more than life, more from life than what you are expecting. What you are experiencing, I'm sorry. A spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities and leaving home. So see, this is something I this is something I'm getting for you. So I just thank you so much guys for watching. Bye bye.